tonight. We've got Georgia on our minds. <laughs> what would you do? Head south to the Peach State. No, no. And the great city of Atlanta. <laughs> Here's John Quinones. Good evening from beautiful Centennial Park, home of the 1996 Olympic Games here in Atlanta, Georgia. One of this city's favorite sons, Martin Luther King Jr., once said, the time is always right to do the right thing. Well, tonight we put that to the test. Our hidden cameras are rolling and we've got Georgia on our minds. When we ask the question, what would you do? Hey, Hassan, you have a, a moment to meet for lunch today? Yeah, just need to talk. What's up? You sounded stressed or something. Yeah, I, uh, I needed to talk to you. You're my oldest friend. Of course, anytime. I, uh, just found out that I'm HIV positive. What? HIV? We just shook hands and hugged. Wait, what? why does that matter? Like, you can't catch it that way. It matters because I don't want you giving your gay disease to me or my family. The city of Atlanta has one of the country's highest rates of people diagnosed with HIV and AIDS. Particularly hard hit is this city's gay African-American community. You're out in public when you see a man newly infected with HIV reaching out to a good friend for support. Instead, he's met with fear and condemnation. What would you do? We've been friends since we were kids. I had no idea you were this ignorant. I'm smart enough to know not to let you put me in danger of a deadly disease. We're at Carol's Chicken and Ice in an Atlanta neighborhood called the Old Fourth War. I found out yesterday I'm, I'm HIV positive. What? How do you tell me you didn't put my life in jeopardy? You could have told me that before I got here, before I even touched you. This customer listens in on Hassan's uninformed response. You know, I could catch it from you. you no, you can't. How do you that's tell not how you... And he's finally moved to join the conversation. This is disgusting, man. What if you sneeze right now? What if you cough? Everybody in here can be infected. By how? how By him sneezing. So? By him sneezing. You, you, you are ignorant if you think that, man. You, I can't believe you're treating your friend like that, too. It's pathetic this day and age. Yeah, but you're gonna tell me you don't I feel right, right now. I ain't scared of him. You can't catch AIDS like that. You would take that risk? Yeah, you would see. Come here. You ain't got nothing to worry about, man. I'm sorry he can't be supportive right now. You need to learn how to be a friend. You're a bigger man. Y'all can be all good and friends. I ain't dealing with it. Don't worry about him. If he can't support you through this, don't worry about him. You will come back around to you. But it's definitely, you ain't gonna get it like that. It's not me, man. You're all gonna get it somehow. It's disgusting. You're disgusting. Whatever. You, the way you're acting right now is pathetic. I couldn't listen to that anymore. I'm sorry. He's like, he's like my oldest friend. Well, clearly he's mixed up. Okay, let's do it. Hi, guys, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm John Quinones. They're actors. <laughs> you were upset. Yeah. I'm raging, man. Nobody, nobody treats anybody like that. Clearly, uh, it's a pivotal moment in that young man's life right there where he needs some kind of support and needs the help of a friend. What was the final straw for you? You could have AIDS. Big deal, I shook your hand. Doesn't matter, you're a person. Your creation that breathes and has a soul, just like I do. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. It's a topic that the people of Atlanta are talking about. But for our next two customers, it's not lunchtime conversation. Listen, I, 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 yo, I can't. I gotta go wash my hands. I just shook your hands, man. It's fine. Brian apologizes. Guys, I'm sorry if you had to hear that. Then tries to strike up a conversation. That was 
rough, but they ignore him. Then they get up, cancel their food order. I'm, I'm go. How come? Is everything okay? Yeah, it's all right. And then they leave the restaurant. Why? We catch up with them outside. What did you think of what you heard? I didn't want to hear it. And, it, and I'm hungry. I didn't want to hear it while I was hungry, so I just decided to leave and go somewhere else. You guys got upset. I killed myself, to be honest. I wouldn't want to pass that to nobody. I, I wouldn't say I killed I will, myself. I will, bro. But I killed myself, man. You would worry about sharing silverware, glass of water, sneezing, yeah. all yeah. of that? That's he crazy. was saying something about you, you ate off my utensils, now I got to go home and wash them. Yeah, that'd be kind of scary, too, to hear, you know? Yeah. Now I got to go check myself. You know you can't catch it that way. It's got to be the exchange of bodily fluids. Water, like bodily fluids, know. saliva. Anything. Yeah, definitely. When he turned around and looked at you and said, I'm sorry you have to hear that, you wouldn't even look at him. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. But I, I, couldn't. I feel bad for him. I'm that was sorry. it. You know, for me. That was, was like, it, yeah. Yep, time to go. That was a game changer. We roll one last time. What oh, yeah. would you do? Infected. I hugged you when I came in here. Yeah. You could give it to me. When Hassan steps away, these women give something to Brian. And don't touch my drink. Thank you. We've known each other for like 10 years. I I came to him for support. Don't get too close to these ladies. It's but it's uncomfortable because he can put all of us at risk. I'm in the medical field, also okay. in the military. That's not a hospital. It's just scary to not know. And now they directly challenge Hassan to be a friend. Emotionally, he is fine. Right. And I'm Just say sorry. Just, just please. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just a lot to deal with. It's a lot just me not even, I don't even know y'all names, but that's a lot. I feel okay. <laughs> just the way you were talking, that hurt me. Oh, my God. <laughs> How are you? I'm John Kenyonis. I'm Tasha Norwood. You're in tears. I'm a soldier, and I'm, I'm in the medical field, and that was... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so tired of this, just the world hate, period. I'm just so tired of it. What was going through your mind? His condition is no worse than someone who has terminal ill cancer or any disease. How big an issue is AIDS in the gay community in Atlanta? It's a big issue, especially I think in a black community is, you know, you have a lot of people that have a problem with, with being gay, but I think some people are actually more like that. So, you know, God wants us to love everybody, so. How do we solve it? Just love. Stop all this judgmental. No matter what your religion is, your belief, just love. That's it, just love. Next. I love you, but you're going to stop being gay today. When his parents try to pray away the gay, there's a sickness that's going on inside of you that we need to fix. Will others join the choir or preach? We release him. Mm -hmm. A different way. But it's not right. It's not right to you. When What Would You Do? Georgia On My Mind returns.